I was fierce and that's something that brought me out of my comfort zone. But at the end of the day, I enjoyed myself and I had a beautiful photo. You are watching RETV. Don't watch me, watch yourself on Real Jamaican Television. Thank you. Hi, I'm Saini Phillips and I'm a TV personality at the RJR Communications Group. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. My job is pretty interesting because it entails a lot of networking, going to a lot of events, fun events of course, and just the opportunity to get to experience a lifestyle that you wouldn't get the opportunity to do if you weren't a TV personality. So that's what makes it so interesting. Initially, it was always my mother's dream for me to be a TV personality. I just wanted to become Miss World. So a part of becoming Miss World meant that I had to have occupation, I had to go to school, I had to do a lot of things to lead up to becoming Miss World. So at the age of seven, deciding that I wanted to do beauty pageants and I entered Miss Universe Jamaica, that gave me the platform to start working at RETV. They had requested some of the girls to come over and you know, do a bit of audition and then I was selected from there. So that's how I got into being a TV personality. I had both parents, but at the end of the day, neither of my parents worked. My father had a shop, but you know, of course, that wasn't a good source of income. So at that time, I knew that I had to work really hard in everything that I was doing. I understood that I needed a scholarship to go to university, and I also needed a job so that I could elevate myself. So it was the struggles for cereal because I never had everything to my disposal. I had to work very hard. I had seven brothers and sisters and we also had to work very hard. And it's amazing to see how we all have created you know, an avenue for each other so that we could actually become successful in this life. I think I would have to say Nelson Mandela. For somebody who was incarcerated for such a long time, it shows the importance of patience, the importance of determination and never giving up on your dream. I think that if I had been in that position, I would probably give up a long time, but you know, to come out and still succeed, to do something that you've always wanted to do, and I think that's where my drive came from, so definitely I would say that he was definitely an idol for me. I think it's very essential that you give back to not only your community, but your society, and I want to develop a partnership with some international corporations that I can also extend my charity at the international level. I think it's very important. There are children out there, they don't have parents, they don't have family members that they can look up to. I was grateful because I had both parents. Yes, we didn't have much, but at the end of the day, they still loved me, they still cared for me, they still did all they needed. And so if I feel like if I can also give back, that's something that I'm gonna do. And I did over 30 different charities. It's something I love. I started off doing it because it was a beauty with a purpose project, and then I fell in love with it and I thought to myself. This is something I'm also going to be passionate about. I love children. I think I have a real obsession with babies. A real, real obsession. But mm -hmm. I love I love children dearly. And if I can help, I'm going to help no matter what. So I think it's very important. And I think that we all should get into that field of helping others. Not only children, but adults alike. All kids are important. That's the first thing. I think they all matter. And so these are, these are children who don't have families. These are children who... They, they're desirous of becoming some important person in society. These, were, these kids are ambitious. So I think Shashimani is doing an exceptional job in trying to get these children to be focused, to get them where they need to go. They're all important, but they're just some children out there that need more assistance than others. 